A lot of people say that you donate blood to save a life. And in Wesley's case, his life was not spared, but the blood that he got and the platelets that he got did give him another day. And then the ones he got the next day gave him another day. And there's no money value on that extra day of life. My name's Angie Adams. I live in Dothan, Alabama. I started donating blood uh, just if the t-shirt was cute or uh, for the snacks or because everybody was doing it and I just felt like it was a thing to do. When I became an avid blood donor is when I found or saw the true need of blood is when my son was diagnosed with cancer and I saw his need where he was needing blood products every day. Wesley was an 18-year-old high school senior, um, had a full life ahead of him, was planning his college and, and his future when he um, got diagnosed with leukemia. Had a strong faith, uh, knew that he would tackle whatever had uh, came his way and he would beat it. His cancer was very aggressive and his treatment took us to Houston, Texas, uh, to MD Anderson. When Wesley first got diagnosed with uh, leukemia, he was needing blood, but he was also needing platelets. And there was a problem locally getting platelets. They had to get it from either Birmingham or uh, Mobile. So it took, there was a little time lapse before he could get his platelets. So once we got our treatment in MD Anderson in Houston, he was made aware of how quick you can get platelets if there are locally and on site. He started talking with the director of Life South here by phone and telling her that we really needed to get these platelet machines in Dothan for the cancer patients in Dothan. He had talked to her numerous times about that and then he was actually had come home after all treatments had failed at MD Anderson and was home for the remainder of his life but he made a point to talk with Sandra again here at Life South and told her you know we really need platelets. When the director of Life South uh, told Wesley that they were getting two platelet machines in Dothan and they were going to donate this area to him in his honor or his memory now, uh, she told us that it would be called Wesley's Way. The Dothan High School, where he attended art club, uh, painted the murals behind us uh, that showed different aspects of his journey and his life. It just amazed me that people would be willing to donate blood for a perfect stranger, you know, to take that needle stick and to sit there for those few minutes and donate blood. But then when he started having to get uh, platelets, it even amazed me more that people would be willing to donate the blood, but sit for two hours and give up that time of their day to donate for a perfect stranger. And when I give platelets, it, I just take that time to reflect on the person that's gonna be getting those platelets that I'm donating right then. And lots of times I'll just whisper a prayer, you know, wherever these platelets go, you know, bless them and bless the person that's getting them. Because I know that they're not just being put on the shelf somewhere. They're leaving me and they're going to someone that's in desperate need of those platelets. I encourage everyone to donate blood or platelets at your Life South Community Blood Bank. Um, it will save a life or it will prolong the life. These patients are so in need of your help.